hello, folks. Uh, good afternoon. Before we start, I'd like to say a few words about the devastating wildfires that are scorching Texas Panhandle and uh, Northwest Oklahoma. Um, you know, uh, yesterday, one of the biggest fire events in Texas history, with more than one million, more than one million acres of Texas Sorry. land burned. From the start, I directed my team to do everything possible to help protect the people in the communities threatened by these fires. In response to specific requests from the, made from the state, we already have more than 500 federal personnel here working on fire su suppression. That includes the deployment of 100 federal firefighters and more on the way, as well as dozens of, dive of additional fire engines, air tankers, small planes, helicopters to help fight the flames. And FEMA has already guaranteed that Texas and Oklahoma will be reimbursed for the cost of keeping folks safe. And we're grateful for the brave first responders risking their lives to save others. And we urge, we urge folks to listen to the warnings from the local officials, listen to them. I've flown over a lot of these wildfires since I've been president. As a matter of fact, I've been a helicopter in the west and the southwest and the northwest, flown over more land burned to the ground all the vegetation gone than this entire state of Maryland in square footage. The idea there's no such thing as climate change. I love that, man. I love some of my Neanderthal friends uh, who still think there's no climate change. Well, my administration is going to keep building on the progress we've made fighting climate crisis, and we're going to keep help folks rebuild themselves in the wake of these disasters. And we rebuild to the standards that are up the up-to-date standards and building codes and the rest, because a lot of, if you fly over these areas that are burned to the ground, you'll see in the midst of 20 homes that are just totally destroyed, one home sitting there because it had the right roof on it. And anyway, since I took office, FEMA's provided Texas alone over $13 billion, $13 billion in three years in disaster relief after fires and winter storms across this state. And when disasters strike, there's no red state or blue state where I come from. They're just communities and families looking for help. So we're standing with everyone, everyone affected by these wildfires. They're going to continue to help you respond and recover.